Well, what has been a very uh, special gathering uh, is going to get even more special. And when I look at all of these young faces, you know, they're the future. It's wonderful. Uh, we've all put uh, a lot of hard work and our hearts and souls into protecting this wonderful resource. And uh, uh, each and every one of you has been a big part of that. I've had the good fortune to spend uh, a little more than the uh, normal amount of time with one of you, uh, who, as many of you have, become good friends. And he is far more eloquent than I am. And I'm going to uh, turn the mic over at this point uh, to my good friend and the uh, mayor of Grand Rapids, Michigan, uh, George Hartwell, who will set the stage appropriately for uh, the Marquette Senior High School Choir under the leadership and direction of Jan Broderson. And uh, Mayor Hartwell will tell you a little bit about what they are going to do. Mayor Hartwell. Thank you, David. Well, thanks, everybody. In, in 2009, as I, I mentioned in my remarks uh, honoring Dave earlier this evening, uh, Dave and, and his late wife, Polly, uh, a, 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 a lovely, beautiful, and, and creative spirit, uh, my wife Susan and, and I traveled to Kristiansand, Norway for the Union of Baltic Cities. We'd been invited to be speakers. Uh, we spoke at their conference, uh, we attended their workshops, and then we went to their uh, gala dinner, much like our own uh, gala dinner here tonight. Uh, and the highlight of the evening was the performance of the anthem for the Baltic Sea. And, and afterwards, David and I looked at each other and we said, you know, that's, that's cool. You know, we ought to have one of those ourselves uh, in, uh, for the Great Lakes in St. Lawrence. We kind of put it on the shelf and, and forgot about it for a while and... Uh, uh, and then last year, after our wonderful conference in Quebec City, uh, Dave said to me, you know, we've got to get serious about this. Let's, let's, let's get a, an anthem for the Great Lakes in St. Lawrence. Um, my son Damien is a professional composer in, in Los Angeles, and, and I, I, I dabble, and I uh, underscore the word dabble, uh, in, in poetry. So I, I wrote some lyrics uh, for an anthem for the Great Lakes in St. Lawrence, and the lyrics off to Damien, and, uh, uh, and over the course of, of a month or so, we, we uh, 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 composed an anthem for the Great Lakes. Um, in, in the lyrics, I was attempting to, to capture the, the beauty, the majesty, the power of our Great Lakes and, and St. Lawrence River. Um, and then I ch challenged him to uh, create music that would go with that, that would be inspiring, that would be stirring, uh, that would be a fitting tribute to our uh, wonderful uh, Great Lakes in St. Lawrence. We, we decided, uh, Damien and I, and uh, with David's concurrence, to dedicate the work to Peter Weggie. Now, some of you know nothing about Peter Weggie except for the fact that he um, provided a grant for our organization for uh, Small Cities uh, Best Practices. We, we give each year the Weggy Award and we always mispronounce his name. Uh, but uh, let me tell you just a little bit about, about Peter Weggy. Uh, Peter, the uh, son of the founder of the Steelcase Corporation, um, has given uh, over the course of his lifetime hundreds of millions of dollars, uh, and that's not an exaggeration, hundreds of millions of dollars to um, environmental initiatives. And, and top on Peter's list is the Great Lakes. In fact, I suspect there isn't a, a, an environmental organization in the basin that hasn't at one time or another received uh, funding from, from Peter. So we've dedicated this, uh, this work to, uh, to Peter Weggy. Um, uh, this evening for the premiere performance of the anthem. Uh, I am so pleased to have the 
uh, Marquette High School Choir uh, performed this for us. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy. <laughs> 